Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a tag video. I actually came up with the idea of creating a tag around bags. And so these statements, I'm sure they already exist and that a bag collection or a bag tag already exists on internet for sure. But I figured why not come back with these tags and if you have a YouTube channel, you're running out of ideas, do this tag on your channel, let me know if you do it or comment below by answering what I'm gonna answer today in this video. Let me know a little bit what you think about it as well. So without further ado, let's get going and do the video right now. So for the first one, it's my most worn bag. And without hesitation for this question, I chose my Forla bag right here that I got last year in uh, September or in October, I believe. And this bag is actually an amazing bag. I love it so much. It's very spacious. It's very um, expensive looking when actually Forla is more of a premium brand. It's actually my father who got it for me for my master's degree for a little present. Go check out my bag video because I explain everything about my bags in there. But uh, to give it more of a review, it's just is very practical when I go to see friends or my boyfriend it's so easy you can put so many things in it and as you can see it's the perfect color for fall and winter this is probably why I said it's my most worn bag because otherwise um, it's true that it's not really a summer or spring bag so this is definitely my favorite bag and my most worn one the next one is going to be the least worn bag it might come as a surprise for some of you because you've seen my outfit video and I was wearing that bag it is actually a very pretty bag but it's just a very unpractical one and I have no excuse for that one. I bought it last year in February. I could have worn it all spring, all summer, but I think I wore it three times. And each time it was to run a quick errand. So it just shows that it's really not a practical bag. And it's my little box bag from River Island. It wasn't expensive, so I'm very glad. Like this, I don't regret the amount of money I put towards it. But it's just very big. It's quite heavy for this bag. It's just not practical. I mean, obviously I can't put much in it. Um, there's not much space. There is a little like strap that goes with it so I can wear it crossbody, but it's so big and and, well, it's a box basically that it's just not practical at all. However, it is definitely a statement piece So I feel like if in spring I have a very simple outfit and I'm going somewhere not very far I might as well just wear it because it's my color palette It's my style and it's a pity because it is a very beautiful bag. I have nothing against it It's just that it's my least worn bag like literally wore it like two or three times in total in a year So the next one is going to be my most expensive bag if you've seen my bag collection and one of my videos where I was explaining like the story time and the review of the Speedy 30 by Louis Vuitton. This is my most expensive bag for sure um, of all the bags. It's the only designer bag I actually own, like a luxury designer bag. That's definitely the most expensive one, but go check out my two videos where I explain a bit more about that bag in particular. And I even give the price, I think. So go check these videos out to know more about it, but definitely the most expensive one. Then it's your cheapest bag. The cheapest one that I had is actually from Mango and I got it in Milan about two years ago. I think I paid for it like four or six euros, which is nothing and it's this little clutch but that also has a little strap inside it it's like a little chain to wear crossbody and it's this uh, mauve light color uh, clutch and I actually love it I find it very pretty I don't wear it much because I don't really have like an occasion usually to wear it but it's the perfect very cute bag and stylish bag but it's definitely the cheapest I have and to be honest I really like it actually for the price it's it's really worth it so yeah that's my cheapest one then it's your smallest bag so my smallest bag I was going I'm gonna choose my Louis Vuitton pochette accessoire, which you've probably heard about. I've talked about it a lot on my channel. But the thing is, like, it's not really considered as a bag usually, so I decided to go for an actual bag, which is my little Forla candy bag right here. I have in two colors this bag. I have this one, but I also have the light pink version. I uh, just I'm gonna show this one for the purpose of the video. I love these bags so much. They're my favorites ever. I think they're very chic, very pretty. They actually fit a lot inside them, which you might not expect when you see it. But definitely my smallest bag in my collection. Then I also put the question my most original bag and I don't really own a lot of original bags Unfortunately because I like really plain bags So that's a bit sad because I don't have like decorated bags or anything like this So the only most original one that I have to show right here and actually this one could be also my smallest bag Because to be honest with you I really can't fit anything in there and it's this little like crossbody bag. It has fur on it It's all fur actually and it's like this uh, purple color. I guess this one is my weirdest original bag that I have but obviously it's not the most original thing ever because even if you own like the Gucci Dionysus bag you know that these ones are very original and beautiful so this would be original this is just like what is that but yeah I like it a lot though it's very cute and different but that's why I chose it as my most original bag so yeah and it's cross body so it's very easy to wear and uh, it's a cute little evening bag I guess the 
next one is your last bag purchase and I wanted to show the four la bag that I showed before but the thing is this was a gift so I was more into showing also what I actually bought with my own money and the latest one that I got was in September last year for fashion week in Milan and it's my little Kurt Geiger wallet on chain in this patent leather in black I absolutely love this bag so so much it's um, one of my favorites probably because I love the little Kurt Geiger sign like the little um, eagle head right here in the middle it fits quite a bit obviously not much because it is a wallet on chain it's not an actual bag let's say but you can obviously fit quite a bit in there and you have a little chain so you can wear it cross body it's my first little Kurt Geiger bag and I paid it myself and it's a premium brand so it's not cheap but it's not very expensive either and so this one was my latest purchase last year in September the next one is your spring summer go-to bag once again I could have shown my Furla bag for this my little candy bag but I decided to go with Marcar Pisa, a little box bag in white. You've seen it everywhere as well because I did my little outfit videos showing this bag. And this bag is amazing for spring summer. I mean, it's white, so it goes with anything. I love light colors for that time of the year, so it's obviously a go to bag for me. What I love about it is that you obviously can wear it as a clutch, so like a clutch, but you can also wear it as like a cute little bag with a top handle. As you can see, there's a little handle like this, so it's a top handle, so you can wear it like this. And you have a little chain inside that is just beautiful and you can have it as a crossbody bag so this one is definitely a spring summer must-have this year is the year of wearing this bag so I'm very very excited about it and my go-to fall winter bag is one of the last questions and then there's one more I'm gonna go with this big Longchamp one this Longchamp I got it in Morocco and it's this beautiful red color and I would say that it's amazing for fall winter because it's a beautiful color for that time of the year and you can fit a lot of things this is the medium version I believe it's not the small one one. Or did they consider it small? I think they consider it maybe like as a, as a small though But it's from the Piage collection and I would say go check out in stores or online and you'll see the different sizes And you'll know which one this is but I think it might be actually the small one because medium is much bigger and the large is like very big uh, But it's the perfect color to wear in fall winter So this is usually my go-to and I really appreciate this bag a lot and to end this video I actually have a last little question What is your dream bag and my dream bag is the lady Dior the mini version if possible in like a pastel pink or a light pink color. It's my absolute dream to have that bag. Unfortunately, I think it will stay a dream because it's extremely expensive for what it is, to be honest. I mean, I'm the first one to understand that it's a luxury product and that there's craftsmanship and quality behind it, but it's extremely expensive. It's like 2,500 or 2,700. It's getting more and more expensive year by year or even month by month. I don't know, it's crazy, hard to keep up. Fortunately, I think it will stay a dream, but it's definitely on my list of dream items. So let me know what's your dream bag if you don't do this tag at least let me know in the comments um, what you think about what's your favorite dream bag other than this I encourage you to subscribe to my channel because as I always say I see that there's around like 70% of you guys who are not subscribed to my channel but do watch my videos so instead of just watching them support me subscribe to my channel you get to have your notification whenever there's a new video for me it's also great motivation so I really encourage you to subscribe to my channel and other than this I will see you next week in my next video bye Thank you.